Hello and welcome to this a relatively short video. I wanted to discuss a problem which I've has occurred on my own on-premise exchange server and I've seen it on other systems previously and it's whereby users are reporting that when they send an email it stays in draft so they can send an email and it just goes bang straight into draft and then doesn't do anything and if you look at the mail in drafts what it does is it says something went wrong and we haven't been able to send your message yet and it sits there happens to all users across the entire exchange infrastructure and nobody can send anything whether it's internal or external and uh, it is quite an easy fix actually of what's what has happened so let me show you how i would go about fixing that but first of all i'm going to jump over to the exchange server and you can see here now what i'm looking at here i have actually suspended the queue that that's not obviously creating a problem but i want to see when mail comes in does it actually sit and go up in this little message count here and in fact it doesn't when you send an email it doesn't uh, if i were to enable the uh just to show you that this this is not a, a trick with a suspended queue if we resume that queue then you'll find that the mail still sits see here ready and it still sits in here doesn't budge doesn't do a thing at all so i'm going to suspend the queue so i can see what's going on when mail does actually hit that uh hit that item now if i look around the exchange server the normal checks you would do is look at the, the send connector just to see what that's doing uh, that's just one of the, the normal transport things we'd look at and you can see from the send connector we just see there if we look at delivery you'll see that yes mx record it's looking uh with no smart host it should just go straight out and a scoping that's correct staff all domains it's looking at that exchange server as well so really there's nothing nothing untoward in the send connector what i will do is uh, there's a little uh tool you can use in here if we go to the management shell just run that as an admin and what you can do is there's a nice command in here called test mail flow and you just key it in um exactly like that and uh, it'll it'll do a check on the mail flow component itself and tell you whether it's going to work or not so what you do there is just type in test mail flow and depending on how it's all configured it may take a little while to come back with a response so i'm just going to pause there and i just light up again once that does respond it can be up to a few minutes before it does so we'll just come back in a second all right so that's come back and you can see we've also got a failure in there which is not surprising all right well let me tell you how this occurred and what we're going to do to fix it uh, i recently moved location moved the exchange server the new router that we had ended up with a 192.168.1 subnet, whereas the previous one was a dot zero. So obviously I just changed the IP address on the server uh, to the dot one, just put a dot one in front of it in, instead of the zero and did that. But there was a small little mistake in there. And what I did was I actually have in there the DNS. Now let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if we do a control panel here, and we get into the network settings and we have a look at network you'll see we just have the single adapter because it is a, a virtual machine and it doesn't do much work so there's no, no real issue with a single but when we look at the properties here you'll see we have ipv4 it's also not the fastest machine but look at this here so yeah 1.31 Dot one is the gateway. Dot thirty is the DNS is the the DC, so that's where it's picking up its DNS from. But look at this. Look what I've done. I've put the uh, DNS of the local router as well, which on a computer side, you know, just doing normal DNS lookups, that's perfectly fine. But this is not going to like that at all. So let's get rid of that and hit OK there um, and close that. Close that out. Now what I'm going to do is go into services and we will stop and start the transport service in exchange so let's go and find that down here transport service and we will restart it i'm doing all this without any pausing just so you can see what's really going on here so that's going to stop in a second or two and st 
Starting now, while it's doing that, I'm going to jump back to the workstation and just have a look at that screen. And there we go. Just after a, just a couple of minutes watching that, that has now released everything from drafts and they've all actually sent nicely. So you can see they're not there. So we'll now jump back into the exchange box and yeah, look at that. Our submission queue is going up mail is actually getting in there now if we look at the messages there we'll see yeah there we go that's starting to, to fill up so it looks like we've uh, done the right thing what we'll do is we'll just resume that queue and that should drop those out of there pretty quickly uh, which is good so it looks like we might have solved our issue we'll check, check that they have actually been delivered but you can see they're not being held in drafts anymore they are going through i'm going to jump into the uh, the exchange shell just quickly and we're just going to do the same command there again, the, uh, the test mail flow. Let's bring it tight in there, would be handy. There we go. Test mail flow. There we go. Machine's a bit slow to react to me there. But doing that, um, now just by the way, test mail flow, what it actually does is it, it sends mail out and actually checks, uh, checks the delivery and, and then comes back. So you can see when it is working correctly, it will come back with a success uh, pretty quickly. And you can see that's what it's done there. So that is obviously happy as well. So really the whole thing around the, the mail flow not working, uh, everything was in place, you know, send connectors and all, all that stuff was good. It was just the extra DNS entry in that adapter that was upsetting it. And yeah, the, the, uh, the mail actually sits in drafts on the client machines, which is, which sounds a bit nuts, to be honest, a very, very simple fix for a problem that, uh, is is actually quite uh, interesting to troubleshoot when you when you get that. But once you've done it once and you've had that issue somewhere, um, you never forget. It's it's just one of those things. So um, thank you for watching today. Please remember that I do love it when you guys subscribe to the channel. I once again I really do appreciate that. Have an awesome day wherever the world you are. Uh, I just a bit of a, a shout out. I really enjoy getting those comments and the the notes I get from everybody. I get them from all different countries. I get emails. If you want to email me directly, mark at thecloudgeezer.com. And remember the website too, uh, which is thecloudgeezer.com. There's a lot of articles and, and notes on there as well, as well as alongside the, the YouTube channel. So yes, once again, thank you. And I will catch you next time. Have a good day.